Hey guys, Joe Wanna coming in with another battle replay here on Total War Room to welcome back to the land of sieges. Let's take a look. We are on the settlement of Ber Berdogas. Berdogas? I don't think that's the name of this settlement, but uh or maybe it is. I don't know. There's the town center. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the armies. Uh, we will take a look first out here. We have a Saba force being commanded by Jack Nelly. And from what we can see, he's got several mercenary Moscow marauders. Looks like he's got five, six, seven units of mercenary Moscow marauders. Then we do have a Carthage here being commanded by Sam Caleb 2626. And he has a bunch of the Gallic warriors. I believe he has four units of Gallic warriors. A couple units of Italian swordsmen. Uh, he does have a giant ballista and a Libyan infantry back. Oh, sorry. Same night warrior back over there. And then we do have an Arverni coming out. He's got three units of Osworn back there along with a uh, mobile ballista. Coming out of the woods. One of those being his journal, I should say. Coming out of the woods here, we do have four units of chosen swordsmen. And, oh, Celtic warriors already inside the settlement. Not looking good. Not looking good. Taking some serious, serious damage. Uh, the defending factions, we will take a look here first at Colchis being commanded by Turn, and he has brought seven units of Cartley Axemen, four Colchian nobles, three Axemen, generals, and noble blood cavalry. He also has four units of Eastern archers and a Hippias Lancer. Then we will take a look at Ioli. I think that's how you say it. Ioli? I Ioli? Not sure. Uh, Ioli being commanded by Enigma 5642, and he has brought four units of the Neurogic, Neurogic runners, three units of the Neurogic or Neurogic Warriors, uh, three Sherdman Horsemen, or Swordsmen, sorry, uh, one of those being his general, three Sardi Axemen, two Sherdman Horsemen, two Sardi Bowmen, two units of the Noble Sardi Archers, and a one heavy unit of the Neurotic Warriors. Wow, not saying these names correctly at all, do apologize, not feeling too good, kind of feeling a little under the weather. Uh, and then we do have a Sparta here being commanded by Aiden Cobb, and he has brought 10 Spartan Hoplites, 2 Spartan Pikemen, 2 Heroes of Sparta, one of those being his general, 2 Citizen Cavalry, 3 Cretan Archers, and 1 Periochioi Peltas. But alright, back over here. Yeah, the attackers uh, taking some damage. The Celtic Warriors pretty much all trashed out of here. Wow, that is pretty quick. Chosen Swordsmen now coming up. We have some more of the Mascot Marauders coming in. Let's see over here. Carthage is pressed in with some of his Gallic Warriors over here taking on the Sardi Axemen who have hit their Frenzy ability. So, so far eight kills. Not a whole lot of kills. But uh, Gallic Warriors took a lot of damage. I'm going to guess probably some wall artillery. Got some good kills down on them. Uh, Saba is still pressing his forces forward. We do have the two units of the Sheridan Horsemen which are guerrilla deployed and they have the stalk capability. He did start them in the woods back over there, but he is going to start moving them forward. And he also does have two units of the Neurogic Runners out over here, which are also guerrilla deployable. And they I believe they have stock as well. Yes, they do there. Okay. So, some more of the Celtic Warriors coming up over here. Chosen Swordsman, and we do have a Levy Freeman going to start climbing up onto a tower there. Osworn making their way forward. Actually, he's got six units. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. Six units of Osworn. Oh, boy. There they are, those Gallic Hunters, those sneaky little devils. He's got two, three, four of them. There they are. Carthage bringing the more of his army out. He's got one, two, three, four units of Libyan infantry, a couple units of the Cretan archers there. Artillery is still blasting away here. He's got three units of the Samnite warriors coming out of the woods. That is definitely good to see. We do have the general's bodyguard. All right, let's get inside here. Carthage is pressing in the unit of his uh, Italian swords. We're taking on some of the Cartley Axemen, too. And some, wow, Cartley Axemen taking a lot of damage. They actually got a good... Looks like they got a bit of a rear charge out onto the back of this Moscow Marauder. I wonder why this Italian didn't just charge into the back. Hopefully this one does. No, I'm just going to walk right on past this unit. Okay, well, they're getting taken out. Okay, I guess that's why. I mean, I would have... I probably would have just helped my ally out there just charge right into the back of them, get rid of them. But, hey... Maybe he didn't see it, or he figured that the unit was breaking, so there was no point in trying to do that. Uh, let's get back over here. Sherdman horsemen, or Sheridan horsemen, are making their way across. They were visible there, so Carthage definitely can see that uh, unit there. But he is going to get... The Sherdman horsemen are going to get right into the back of this ballista. He did get 124 kills, and he was also knocked down that, bullet, that uh, wall breach. So very good there. Ooh, we got some speed archers. Marib royal guard there for Saba. But yeah, that is going to be the end of this uh, Carthaginian giant ballista there. No infantry nearby. 
He's actually bringing the Samites all the way through the woods. So, yeah, this Ballista... I mean, he did a good job, though. He definitely did a good job with it. 124 kills, like I said, and knocked down, was able to knock down a Breach. So that is definitely very, very good. Uh, back over here, we have some more of these Sabian units. We have two more units of Moscow Marauders, another Celtic Warrior there. One of the uh, Neurotic Runners are there. Did not see where the other one went. I guess they died. I don't see them. And this, from, this is from the Defender's point of view. So, yeah, I guess they got... Uh, I'm going to guess they got murdered. Just going to guess that. All right, so the Axemen finally getting taken out of here. Kokian Nobles are just getting attacked from behind and from the front. So not looking too good so far here for the Kokian Nobles. Arrow Tower is doing some damage as well. And here we go. The Italian's going to charge forward. Yep, charging forward into another unit of Cartley Axemen there. That is going to be a tough fight for that Italian unit. They were already pretty damaged. So, yeah, that Cartley Axemen unit shouldn't have very much of a difficult time getting rid of the rest of this Italian swordsman unit. That man is annoying. Did you guys hear that? Who said that? That's crazy. How dare you? How dare you say that on the field of battle? That man is annoying. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Yeah, it looks like Cartleys are just, yeah, they're just murdering this Italian swordsman unit. I mean, they got 50 kills. Not terrible. Usually they would get more, but... All right, Carthage actually doing okay over here on this side. Sardi Axman getting walked through. Wow. They are really taking a lot of damage. Only 36 kills. They are on their way out. This unit's on their way out as well with 90, and they're wavering. Oh. I mean, they're exhausted, so he definitely used their frenzy ability. Only 42 kills. Masagat Marauders, Mercenary Celtic, uh, Gallic Warriors doing their damage. Let's see what's going on back over here. Oh, no. The general for Carthage tried to go back over there to take on this uh, Sherdman Horseman unit. And the Sherdman Horsemen are actually chasing. We got a little bit of lag there. That's that's kind of weird. Usually it doesn't happen in replays. Uh, but yeah, got a little bit of lag here. Sherdman Horsemen are going to pull off, though. He's not going to charge into the back of the Samnite Warriors there. We actually have a Marib Royal Cavalry General there for Saba. So he's going to come over and help chase that unit away. Uh, one of the units of Sabian Archers here taking a lot of damage. Not sure exactly what hit them. Let's see. 129 kills. So, yeah, okay, they got into the Archers there. Uh, the other unit over here being joined by some of the Citizen Cavalry there for Sparta. And really a lot of lag right now. Wow, what is going on with this replay? Uh, hopefully it fixes itself. Let's see if maybe we just give it a touch of a fast forward. Maybe that'll fix it. Wow, that, this replay is uh, laggy. Very, very laggy. Hopefully it catches up, though. That would be extremely upsetting if this is how the replay is going to be. But it does look like it's kind of catching up a little bit. Yeah, Oswood in here now just getting shot. Just standing still, getting shot. Got to move them forward. Eastern Archers here for Colchis getting some good shots, getting some good kills. Uh, back over here, the Saba Cavalry did catch up to the certain horsemen, so they're going to be out of here. General Bodyguard for uh, for Carthage going to come over and try and get some kills. And look at that, Ioli Neurogic Runners charging in onto the back of Oathsworn. I think he was trying to get to the Ballista, but unfortunately the Ballista crew is completely safe. And this unit is just getting absolutely murdered. Trying to take on two units of Oathsworn, that is not going to work out, bud. That is just not going to work out. Melee attack, 20 Weapon damage, 55. That's an insane weapon damage, but yeah, just not going to work out well. Not going to work out well. Oswald General, 60 kills. The other unit here with 31, so there you go. That's going to be the 91 causing the unit to rout. They are out of here. Neurogic War, uh, the, the Sherdman Cavalry over here actually getting taken out, but oh, the other unit. And we actually have the Hippias Lancers over here too. Wow, there's a lot of cavalry. The Pace Lancers charging in with diamond formation. Not that they really need the extra charge bonus. They definitely need that extra melee defense, though, uh, because they're about to start getting surrounded by some... Actually, on both sides, they got a rib Royal Guard on either side. Sherdman Cavalry are still just kind of running around over here. I'm not sure exactly where they're trying to go, but Carthage sending over a lot. Wow, Libyan Infantry, three units of Libyan Infantry. No, two Libyan Infantry, one Samnite Warrior coming over here. Going to try and help get rid of this uh, Pace Lancer. Hopefully he pulls them out of there. Very heavy shot cavalry left in melee is just not a good idea. You definitely don't want to do that. You definitely, definitely don't want to do that. Really, really don't want to do that. I, I can't stress that enough. Uh, definitely want to get them out of there. 
like now, because they're getting absolutely cut in pieces. They have 38 kills down to 46 men. Not looking good. Not looking good. But all right, back over here, Saba, a bunch more of his Moscow Marauders. Did he bring nothing but Moscow Marauders? Looks like he did. That's all I see so far. And the two units of the Marib Royal Guard. Oh, wait. He's got two more units. Four units of Marib Royal Guard. Wow. Okay, that is a lot of Marib Royal Guard. <laughs> uh, another unit in here. Five units. One, two, three, four, five. Five units of Marib Royal Guard. Looks to be about seven or eight units of Moscow Marauders. So, interesting Saba comp uh, army composition there. That Celtic Warrior unit that came over here is uh, dead again. So, Cocaine Nobles doing a pretty good job. 62 kills for them. 172 for this Cartley Axeman unit. Wow. Wow. That is... That, how many men do they still have that unit? They lost 58 men. 172 kills. Very, very, very nice. Oswan pressing forward. We have a unit. Uh, another unit of Oswan actually charging in onto this Cartley Axeman unit. Unit of Chosen Swordsmen just kind of hanging out on the wall. Looks like this unit's just hanging... Oh, 149 kills, but they ran... Okay, they broke. Never mind. Uh, some of the Eastern Archers pressing up over here. 59 kills. They... Are they out of ammo? They are. They're charging in. Going to try and help this Carly Axeman hold out hold out against some Oswarn. That's not... That's not a good sign. That is really not a good sign. Sparta here with the unit of Spartan Hoplites, though. Hopefully, they're going to be able to press forward and get in there. And what is going on over here? Sabian archers left all alone. How, how did... No! Sherman Horseman just going to slaughter these, these archers. Why would you push them away from your infantry? Oh, God. And now he's going to get into the Gallic Hunters as well. Oh, no. This is not a good sign for the attackers at all. Is the Saba Cap... Yes, Saba General still sitting way back over there. Carthage General sitting right there. Oh, my God. A hundred... Over 200 kills now. Breaking two units, or at least routing two units of the Sabaean Archers. Getting into the back of the Gallic Hunters now. Starting to route it one of them. This... Oh, wow. That is rough. That is definitely very, very rough. Okay, the Carthage General finally seeing this. He's going to try and slow the Sherman Horseman down, but I don't think he's going to. Yeah, there's, there's so much of this cavalry unit that's already freed up, and they're just going to blast right into these Gallic Hunters as well. Guys, guys, you, you got to protect your archers. Really need to protect your archers. I mean, where's the Oathsworn that were here? Where where did all the Oathsworn go that were right here? They could have pressed up against the walls or gotten closer to keep an eye on these on these archers. 329 kills with Sherdman Horsemen. Medium melee cavalry. It's just medium melee cavalry. I mean, oh, that is a rough, rough blow there for the attackers, losing a lot of archers. Actually, two of the Sabine archers came back, so that's not terrible. That is not terrible. Uh, the Gallic Hunters, though, just not looking good. Do the other two? I can't tell. Actually, they disappeared. Uh, we have... What was that firing? What was that just throwing? Oh, is that maybe the Chosen Swordsman on the wall throwing their javelins? The Herculean throw all the way over here into the Sherman Horsemen who have almost 400 kills now? And now here comes the... Sp this is rough. This is definitely very rough to watch for the, uh, for the attackers. I mean, they... Not protecting their archers in any way, shape, or form. That is, I and mean, let me guess, the Sa yeah, Saba General's just sitting back there. Saba General, come on. Is that one Sherman gone? I think he is. Yeah, Sherman Horseman, that unit is gone. Okay, Carthage General coming over here, going to try and take on the two units of Citizen Cavalry, trying to save the, uh, the Gallic Hunters there for Arverni. Very, very rough. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. One unit still pretty much solid, 96 out of 120. So pretty solid unit still there. Uh, let's get inside the settlement. We have what? How did... Wait a second. How did this Marib Royal Guard get past this Spartan Hoplite? I'm sorry if I missed that. I, I was watching the the, the, the ridiculous note this go on outside there. Uh, but yes, Marib Royal Guard just getting absolutely hammered right now. We have the Cretan Archers firing down on them. More of the Neurogic Runners running over here now. Haha, <laughs> funny running over here. Uh, Sparta reforming his lines here. Spartan Hoplites there. Let's see what we're doing over on this side with the Osworn. 
Uh, Osworn here, 184 kills. Chosen Swords, 138. This Chosen Sword, 164. Doing pretty good. I mean, they're taking our Spartan Hoplite unit. They do also have a unit of Cartley Axemen there for Cocos. So, so far, so good. He's actually going to pull his Osworn back. Let me get that Libyan Infantry in there. Let them start doing some damage. But, oh, God, the Hail of Arrows. I just saw a bunch of arrows come flying across. Periochi, I Peltas firing pretty much point blank into the flank of this Marib Royal Guard. 69 kills, giggity, and they're on their way out. Okay. Very rough. Definitely very, very rough here, though. Uh, Marib Royal Guard in the back line over here. Libyan Infantry for Carthage is going to fall back. So we do have some archers made it inside the settlement. What do we have? Cretan archers. One, two, three Cretan archers made it inside. One of the Sabaean archers finally making it inside. Other unit of the Gallic Hunters way over here. Artillery is now firing for our Verney. Uh, 91 kills so far for him. But now, God, the Marib General. I mean, it's very heavy melee cavalry, so he should do very well. Even though he got charged, he should be able to win that fight against one of the Citizen Cavalry. The second unit, maybe charge over there. I mean, he's got 100 kills already on Citizen Cavalry. This unit here was 60. I think this unit is definitely going to lose against the Marib Royal Cavalry General, but I mean, bud, get in there. Just charge in there. Help your other unit out. Try and kill some more of this ge this uh, that ge general. Wow. Very rough. Very rough start. Uh, Sardi Bowman now coming down over here out of ammo. 133 kills for them. Coming down and around, we have some more of the Neurogic Warriors. Two more units of them coming around the corner here. Gonna try and maybe get into the back of the uh, Libyan Infantry here. But does look like the Libyan Infantry are going to fall back, reform their lines. Javelin volley in onto the Sardi Bowman unit. So they're going to stop that unit from being able to get away. That is good. 103 kills now for the Libyan Infantry. This unit here, 42. He is going to charge in onto two units of the Rajic Warriors who have both blasted their head, uh, their frenzy, I should say. Sorry about that. Another unit of the Sherdman Horse, uh, Sherdman Swordsman now coming around over here. I think this is only the second time I've ever covered a battle with this faction in it, so I apologize if I'm saying the names wrong. But, uh, yeah, that's my excuse for it. Artillery coming still in here for Arverni, getting into some of the Cretan archers there. Periochia okay, Peltas taking some damage. Oh, that was a good shot. That actually went right over the top of the Moscow Marauder into that Spartan Hoplite line, who is losing decisively right now. We actually have a unit of the Rib Royal Guard who have broken through, gotten around the flank there. Hopefully they get into some of these Cretan archers, start doing some damage. Another unit coming around, Spartan Hoplites making their way forward, and that was a friendly fire. That is not what you want to see. You definitely don't want to see friendly fire. Uh, Arverni, I mean, this is a mobile ballista. I'd be bringing it closer. Bring it up further to the wall. Where is he firing? I think he's just trying to reform. Looks like he's just trying to reform. Uh, the Saba General was victorious against one unit, and now the other unit of Spartan Citizen Cavalry just going to hang out there. Okay, well, I mean, that is what it is. Back over there. Uh, Saba is making some pretty good pressure, though. Definitely have to say they are doing a pretty good job here against Sparta, but now we have a unit of the noble Sardi archers who have come down from the wall that was near the town center getting some great shots. And are they just firing in onto Osworn? Yeah, they are. Just firing right into the flank of this unit of Osworn. Too far forward for their shields to really do any damage. Uh, some more Saba coming around. Two more units of the Marib Royal Guard. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Marib, Marib Royal Guard. Yeah, I said it right. Uh, another unit of the Moscow Marauders still around. Let's see what's going on over here with the Osworn and Carthage. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Eastern Archers, 102 and 120, but they're both wavering. Oh, Gallic Hunters, 65 kills. They're on their way out. Uh, Carthage now sending units down over here. It's got three units of Samnite Warriors making their way down. I guess maybe they're going to make use of these towers. But it does look like this is about to fall. Okay, so the defenders have kind of pulled back towards the town center. We have some Spartan Hoplites there. We got a unit of Cretan Archers there. And three units of Colchian Nobles over on this side that are going to be protecting this advance right there. Now, we also remember, we do remember, that this is another avenue for the attackers to try and get inside the settlement. Obviously, they also do have this back path that can lead all the way around over there into the town center as well. And there is this passageway over there. So there are many different avenues that the attackers can try and use here to get into the town center. Uh, Eastern archers here on their way out. We have another Osworn unit making their way over here. Hopefully they capture up that tower. And Carthage 
I would just get into the settlement. Just, just, you, just go. You, I don't, I don't know what's going on over here. Hopefully, they just climb up these towers and get inside there. It really, really would be a good idea. Uh, ballista there for Arverni. Nice job. 172 kills for him. So both of the ballistas did actually a really good job. 124 for the Carthaginian ballista, and again, like I said, 172 for the Arverni. So their uh, their artillery definitely shown uh, to be quite effective in this battle at this moment. Libyan infantry, two units of them, currently taking on one unit of the Shurdman swordsmen. And uh, I don't think these guys are really going to... I mean, it's heavy melee, but they're taking on two units of very heavy melee. They do have the Arrow Tower, though. The Arrow Towers are still under control of the defenders. So hopefully they will be able to maybe give some uh, some assistance there for the Shurdman warriors. Shurdman swordsmen, I should say. Swing back out over here. Okay, so Carthage still has his three units of archers. 174, 159, and 98. So they may be out of ammunition. Uh, but we do have a press coming here for the forward line here. Some Spartan Hoplites. Another unit of Spartan Hoplites falling back. We actually have a unit of that. Right there. Well, look at that. Sardi archers getting some really great shots. In onto the Marib Royal Guard there. Mm, that is rough. That is definitely very, very, very rough. Uh, Sam Knight's now coming inside the settlement. We do have an Os one over here. Pretty solid, 159, so they have 51 kills for that unit. Uh, 131 there, 238, there you go. 81 there. So some of the units doing pretty well. Another unit of Celtic Warriors here, so they did actually have one more unit of Celtic Warriors that survived the initial onslaught. Or the initial assault, I should say, initial assault. All right, but back over here, Saba is just pressing in to Pikeman. We have stacked Spartan pikemen with the unit of Spartan hoplites. So that is just not going to go well for any of these Saba units. This is not... Oh, God. These Spartan pikemen are just... They're, they're going to be praised as heroes. They're going to be praised as heroes. Saba just keeps pressing units in here. Rural Guard. Dropping. This unit of Marib Royal Guard, once they get in there, they're going to start dropping. We have the Noble Blood, Noble Blood Cavalry General coming over here. Maybe he's just going to try and boost morale on this front side over here. Do also have the Sherdman Swordsman, Sherdin, Sherdin Swordsman General here for the Iolis. Yeah, this uh, this is just looking really rough. Marib Royal Guard is just going to die. Spartan Pikeman already up to 160, 170 kills. This noble archer here is just having a field day, just blasting away. Blasting away. Libyan infantry having a difficult time against the Sheridan horseman. He, uh, Sheridan, Sheridan swordsman there. The Saba general just... Oh, wait, he's moving. He did move. I think I saw life. Was there a bit of life in the, in the Saba general? Yes, there is. He's moving. Okay, good. 115 kills. Only lost four men. Not bad. Since so cavalry starting to make their way back over, they had 100 kills and how many men? 51 left in the unit. Not bad. Uh, we do have one lone unit of Car Celtic warriors and a Libyan infantry over here currently trying to make their way through this unit of Colchian nobles. Hopefully they use their javelins. This unit maybe not, though. They only have 18 kills. Definitely would have been a better idea to try and throw some javelins into that Colchian noble before you tried to just charge in onto them. Oswin over here, 242 kills, doing some damage against this Kokian Noble unit, but another unit coming in behind them. Wow, this is just looking rough. And now the Iol oh, the Noble Hardy Archers are going to come over here. Is he just going to walk right down over here and get onto that wall and just blast? I think he's going to. I definitely think he's going to do that. Uh, Marib Royal Cavalry, no, sorry, Royal Marib Cavalry, there we go. Making his way around. I mean, 
I, I, I would kind of go for broke and try and come around over here and see what they can find. See what they can find. Sardi archers are not actually not even getting onto the wall to fire. He's just moving them further back. Are these guys out? No, they're not out. Okay. Maybe he's just going to line them up there and let them get some shots in into a stronger unit once they start making their way forward. Uh, the Saba general charging up into the line of the Colchian nobles. Again, in the diamond formation. Uh, this side over here is fine. Completely fine. 223 units. Uh, 223 kills for this Spartan Pikeman unit. Wow. Rough. Very, very rough. Uh, I'm going to guess that there's some newer players in this battle. I mean, that, that guess probably could have been made a little while back. I, I wonder if Saba's actually even still here. Because for his... Oh, my God. I'm going to watch this. Jesus. That cavalry just got completely murdered. Sabian archers trying to do what they can do, firing up. See, this is a diff that's a, that's a very difficult shot. Even in real life, that would be a very difficult shot. I know that the Kokian nobles are a little bit higher, but still, the friendly fire is definitely happening. There is definitely friendly fire going on right here, without a doubt in my mind. Without a single doubt in my mind, there is friendly fire going on there. Uh, here comes the Ballista Crew for Arverdi. He's going to start making his way forward. Cavalry there. Oh, no. Sub Spartan Cavalry going to come in. He's going to have a lot more kills. Another 89 Cretan Archer standing right there. Another 58 right there. Oh, buddy. Oh, my God. This is going to be gross. Bye, Archers. Oh, Jesus. Ten kills on the charge. Cretan archers getting removed. Yeah, these guys are going to waver and break. They're definitely going to waver and break. The general is actually dead for Carthage as well. Carthage is pressing really wide over here, though. He's got three units of Sam Knight still coming around the corner. Still have this one stationary unit of Osworn. This attack was completely stopped. Did these noble archers get any kills, I wonder? Uh, 82, so they, yeah, they definitely have some more than they did. I don't remember exactly how many they had there at the beginning. Uh, but wow, this is, this is big. This is a huge, huge, wow. I don't even know what I was about to say right there. I just, I stopped at saying huge twice because I, I don't even know what I was going to say. Um, what is this now? Noble Blood Cavalry General coming back around. We actually have the Sheridan uh, Swordsman General coming over here. Kokian Nobles coming over here as well. Another unit of Spartan Hoplites going to form up. I'm going to guess the Spartan Hoplites is going to form up right there. Maybe the Kokian Nobles are going to... Yeah, that's what they're going to do. So they're going to just going to uh, try and block this off from these units making any serious advantage. Or serious advance, I should say. Here we go. Carthage sending up some more of his Libyan infantry over on this side to a weakened Kokian Noble unit that has 39 kills but again right behind them spartan hoplites got some osworn making their way over here i wonder is he going to just try and catch these uh the citizen cavalry and get rid of them Sheridan swordsman coming around over here Are they just going to freak i think they're just going to recapture this tower yep looks like that's what going to they're go they are going to do there uh osworn general just i mean, i don't know where he's going i would <laughs> If I was the Osborne General, I would just get away from that tower. We'd get away from that tower. Sparta is going to pull his unit of citizen cavalry away. Osborne giving chase. So yeah, Sparta's just going to sit here. Sparta doesn't have to do anything now. Nine and a half minutes left in the replay. And this is just looking really rough. Really, really, really rough for the attackers. I'm just going to fast forward. I'm just going to fast forward. I mean, I know you guys. You guys have made it, made comments before about me clipping stuff out, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. But uh, yeah, Spartan. Ho I'm sorry, Libyan infantry just shattered right there. 169 kills, but there was about a hundred of them left. So there's another uh, morale debuff 
showing for uh, losing your general. Now, Carthage back over here, I honestly would have done... Uh, I would have tried a wall walk to get around because now you're just... You're taking on Spartan Hoplites head on. And we have a noble Sardi Archer right there who's just going to be able to move forward a little bit and just fire right into you. That's pre I'm guessing that's exactly what he's going to do. Looks like that's what he's trying to do. Maybe he's waiting for the perfect angle. There they go. Yep. Just going to fire right into the back flank. The non-shielded side. Okay, Sam Knights are pulling back. All right. Well, that's good at least. They're not just going to stand there and get shot. They do have their shields up in front of them, so that is good. Uh, back over here, the Sheridan General is holding the line right now. 37 kills for him. Heroes of Sparta, 36. And another unit of the Kokia Nobles there with 81. See how this front is doing. I know I have it on fast forward. I know I have it on fast forward, but I just I, I don't see this going well for the attackers anymore. I mean Saba's completely gone. Carthage is pretty much done because his general is dead. I mean there's still a decent amount of Osworn on the field though. I think. There's one, two, three units of Osworn left. But with the amount that Sparta still has, I mean he's got both units of his pikes. One of them sitting there with three almost two hundred and uh, two hundred and twenty three kills. Uh, did he bring his other unit of pikes over here? He did, and he stacked them up. Oh my god, look at that. Stacked Spartan pikemen with Kokian nobles and a Spartan hoplite. Wow. That right there is a reason why a lot of people have started saying pike stacking. No, 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 no. Pike stacking, no. Because how are you going to get through? You're not going to get through that. You're not going to get through that. That's impossible to get through. E even if they did still have archers... That is impossible to get through. Uh, but back over here, Sardi... Did they just switch over here? They did. The noble Sardi archers have switched around to the other side. Just going to fire into the Carthage uh, Sam Knight Warriors over there. Wow. Sam Knight Warriors there getting destroyed. Heroes of Sparta here on uh, Spartan Hoplites. Just going to destroy them. Wow. Three minutes, 59 seconds left. Two Osworn sitting back here. Osworn General just getting shot. And Sparta's actually coming down. Sparta is actually coming away from the town center. He's moved units over here to watch this side. Here comes the Sparta, the, the uh, Citizen Cavalry again for Sparta. 192 kills for them. So the Cavalry definitely did a fantastic job in this battle here for the defenders today. Um, uh, actually, we had a little bit of breath of life right there. Kokia Noble unit actually broke. But they're taking on another unit of Spartan Hoplites. And that's a Libyan Infantry and an Osworn. It doesn't even really look they... Yeah, the Osworn really aren't even in fighting. I mean, it says that they are, but... Uh, oh, there they go. Now they're getting pushed in there. Okay, nope, they're retreating. Oh, they broke. Oh, no, they didn't break. I thought they broke. Osworn pulling away, which just immediately shattered the Libyan Infantry. Wow. Is the Osworn... Oh, the Osworn General's dead. Oh, it's over. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Army losses, final minute, uh, final two minutes of army losses. So hopefully the game will allow me to just super fast forward this now. And Sparta and Cocos are going to come around this way. Sparta and Ioli are going to come around this way. And that's going to be the end. Wow, that was a, uh, I mean, it was definitely an interesting battle as far as the cavalry went for the defenders. Because uh, the attackers kind of just left their archers wide open and completely undefended. Um, that was, that was, uh, that was, that was pretty rough to see. And, uh, again, I, I hope that nobody feels or thinks that I'm intentionally trying to be a jerk or mean here or whatever. Um, but you, you left your archers completely undefended. I still don't know why Saba moved his three units of archers over here away from the Marib Royal Guard and whatever other infantry that was standing right there. Very confused by that. But all right, let's take a look at the uh, ending army composition. Uh, we will start off here with Enigma5642, who was playing as Aeoli. He was the one that sent the replay in. 2,754 kills. Very nicely done. His general, 66 kills. His cavalry, though, 387, 129. Great job there. Archers, uh, 164, 118, 217, 137. Uh, getting into his... This is the heavy unit, 146. Getting into the neurogic warriors here, or runners, I should say, 124. Uh, not a whole lot of kills, just one there with 124. The Neurogic Warriors, 111, 135, 125. Sardi Axman didn't do very much. And his other two units of Sheridan Swordsman here, 319, 304. And we have Turn 
with uh, Kokus, 1969, 63 on his general, 39 on the Hippias. I don't know why he just charged it in there and left it, but it is what it is. Uh, Eastern Archers, two of them, over 100 kills, 120 and 102. Kokian Nobles, 122, 144. Regular Axemen, one unit there, 166, 104. Getting into his Cartleys now, uh, 134, 211, 148. So three out of the six of them doing very, very well. Then we have Aiden Cobb here with Sparta, 17, 86, 39 with his general. His Citizen Cavalry, one unit there, 196. So again, almost 200 kills. So all of their cat, well, not not Colchis. Not Colchis's Cavalry, but uh, Ioli and and uh, Sparta's Cavalry did very, very nicely. Very, very nicely. Uh, very, very nice job. There we go. Uh, two of his Cretan Archers, 107-141, is Periochi Peltas, 106. Uh, his other heroes of Sparta there with 146. Getting into his Spartan Hoplites, which is the majority of his army. Probably not a whole lot. One unit there with 161, another 96 there. But again, they're Hoplites. They're meant to hold. Uh, but this Spartan Pikeman there, 223 easy. And I mean easy kills. Uh, then we have Goose 801 here with our Verney, 1990 there. Uh, 208 on his general again, 172 on his ballista, getting into his hunters, 108 top unit there. I'm actually surprised he got 108 kills with them uh, because they just get, they got overrun. The Celtic Warriors not performing very well. Chosen Swords 150, 169, 149, so three out of four of them doing good. And his Osworn 115, 143, 246 on 100. So again, four out of the six or five out of the six doing really good. So not too bad there. Uh, Carthage, Sam Caleb, 26-26-1979, General, 44 kills. Ballista again, 124, good job. His ranged, 105-168-179, very nicely done with his Cretan Archers. Uh, Libyan Infantry, 169-238-136, three out of the five doing very well. Gallic Warriors, one unit there with 97. His Italians, 108, 90, and his Sam Knights, 69, Giggity, you're the winner. And then we have Jack Nelly here with Saab, 115 on the General, again, just kind of charged right into the front line there. So I don't know what that was about. I'm guessing Saba left. That's why I'm just assuming that he left. Yeah, his archers got obliterated. Uh, his Maribor Guard, 140, 181. So two out of the five doing pretty good. And he did bring 10 units of Moscow Marauders. Uh, 109, 121, 121, one, uh, 211, 188, and 117. So overall his Moscow marauders did pretty good but all right guys that is going to be the end of the battle replay here for today so hopefully you enjoyed make sure to like comment subscribe share the content around have a good rest of your day stay safe and as always until the next one hey guys i just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my patreon supporters and my youtube members thank you very much for your continued support i really appreciate it